gonna take a deep breath. Hello everyone, it's me, Quan Gamer 4, back in the video, and today, today, you know what today is. Five Nights at Freddy's official trailer has dropped today, and I cannot wait to watch this because it is coming out at October, man. October 27th. Yeah, I'm looking at October 27th on a Friday. Boy, you going you know I'm gonna go over there and react to it. I mean watch it the moment that it hits feeders. But without okay, but enough my talk. Enough talk. It's time to react. So we're gonna be reacting to the trailer and then I'll go back if I ever see something that I can speculate. Alright? Alright, let's do this. Hi, this is Mike. Ah, I just captions. To see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. No. I will take I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. That should have been done. See if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. Eviction note. Anything. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. Why are you bringing your sister in all this? This is supposed to be a one person only. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? Oh, that's Foxy. Producers from Megan. Ooh. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. Okay. This Halloween, yes. You must be the security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Them? So the officer knows? Oh! In the 80s, kids went missing. Oh, that's Foxy. We searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? Uh, no! They never found them. Oh no. That's why the place shut down. Oh! <laughs> the missing kids! Technically, they're animatronics. Yeah, when the knife shit starts. They want to make her like them. The nightmare begins. Oh! Is that William Afton? Oh, where to? Corey, why do I always get the weirdos? Was that freaking Corey Kenshin, the show god himself? Oh. Man, I gotta freaking, <laughs> I gotta, <laughs> I scream so loud, I'm sorry guys, I'm so sorry. Alright, let me calm down, alright? That was amazing, I really liked that very much. Now then, um, alright, I say, uh, let's get to my reaction time. Let's get to my analysis of this trailer. So, what we have here is Steve Regal, who is basically career counselor. All right. Now, I know I, I said this in a past video, but there were sources going around saying that this guy right here is not who he, he says he is. I thought that this man was a detective. Or at the I thought this was a detective, but there was, there was like a lot of circulations going about saying that this guy was either the detective or this is William Afton. And my mind is thinking that this guy is William Afton. Something must have happened. I don't know. Like, I, I could be just spouting false. Like, my my lies. I'm spouting lies. But that's what I'm... That's what I've been told right now. Because it's either the detective, which I, I hope that's the case. Or this is William Afton. Which I know there's going to be a lot of fangirls who are hey, going to hate that idea. But I don't know. Shaggy is playing William Afton, so I mean, like, come on. 
who don't like Shaggy? All right, so the next shot we got over here is essentially we're getting a notice for a... Is that an eviction note or a notice of discordancy? Hmm. 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 Hold on. If that job that you offered was still available. Yes. All right, here we are. All right, here we are. We got a good notice. This is... This is a notice of delinquency. Ooh, delinquency. Oh, boy. Okay, so maybe that... Okay, so I'm guessing that the red note we got here, this is exact. This is basically the reason why Mike is taking the job as probably... as probably night guard. Because maybe... Maybe Mike did something. Because let's be honest... Mike, he's a troublemaker, man. This is the same Mike that put... The, well, it depends if this Mike is Michael Afton. But honestly, we, we kind of... Us in the FNAF community kind of already agree that Mike Schmidt and Michael Afton are the same people. So, yeah. So, Mikey... So, Mike here, yeah, he's definitely a delinquent. A delinquent that decided to shove his brother's head on the animatronic. Like, that wasn't going to happen. Like, nothing bad was going to happen. So I'm guessing this, in this variation of the movie, I feel like this is where he needs to take up the job as Night Guard. Maybe something happened in the movie because I don't see this being the beginning of the movie. This is somewhere, like, in the middle act or something. Or, like, the the first act where we're trying to pick up for the middle act, if, you, if that makes sense. Alright, so this is actually something I want to talk about, actually. Because... If my sources are telling me right, this officer we have right over here is supposed to be named Vanessa. Now, this is going to be interesting because that's probably... Basically, the FNAF community are keeping an eye on this officer Vanessa because... It's the fact that they're deciding to name her Vanessa, even though we have a Vanessa already in Security Breach. But this Vanessa isn't police officer. Well, security breaches is basically security guard. Well, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, security guard. So, it's going to be interesting to see what this officer Vanessa does in the movie. Because the way she worded it, she's saying, have you met them? It's like, the police know about this does she know about this if that's the case then why is this place so option is so you know operational like i mean i know i get it it's abandoned and mike is basically doing a security guard check because you know keeping kids from being from vandalizing things but i mean like you would think you would tear this place down you would tear this thing down if there's a pol a haunting there. That then, yeah? All right, so I want to actually talk about this because, dear Lord, I feel sorry for this man right here. Background FNAF background character number eight hundred one B. Because he uh, he definitely dead. He's dead. Bonnie got his. Bonnie got his. His Vic Bonnie got his first kill in the movie. Dang. <laughs> Poor janitor. I, I bet he was a janitor. Alright, so... Actually, I, I want to comment about this, but this is actually for a thing like lay down, so let me just... Uh, uh -huh. Alright, here we are. Here we are. So, we saw earlier that this kid has Foxy's hook, so he's possessing Foxy. Obvious, it's obvious. This girl right here, I, I don't need to say anything. Like, like you didn't even need to zoom in that she's definitely Chica. This boy right here, he has a brown shirt. He's basically Freddy. And that kid over there, he has Bonnie ear, so yes. All right, so that's who it is. So here's, uh, come on. all right, Chica, 
I believe. All right, Chica, Foxy, Freddy, Bonnie, and there's a fifth kid here. That's a fifth kid there. Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. What do they want? I will not look at this. Look at Bonnie. The way he moves. Look at him. They want to make her like them. Bobby. Oh. Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> oh, that literally came out of Freddy's mouth. Pause. I can't get over this move. I can't get over the animatronics fluidation. The movements. I love it. It's too late. Look at that. But this is the one I want to speak of. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Jeez. Hold up. Okay, so. We're basically at a mall because I... Okay, it's either... Yeah, we're, we gotta be in the mall because I don't think there is any place in the world where this is an open space and the tiles right here don't scream at me, hey, we're at a mall. So this has to be in the mall, not in like not in the outside world. I mean, not in the, like the outdoors. And that was... That was William Afton. Hold on, let me check. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we got a, gr a woman right here. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm pausing a little bit, but... I'm pausing a lot, but we already did a reaction, so... If you're still here about the whole, you know... If, we're, if you're still here with the whole analysis, then thank you guys so much for, what, for, you know, staying with me with this one. Now, this is actually interesting, because... This woman looks like she's in a coma, and this is supposed to be Mike, right? So... What is the importance of this woman? Like, what's the importance? What, then... Okay, there's two... There's two... There are two things that I'm thinking of this. Either one, this movie is basically confirming... is basically confirming that this woman right here is... In some way in a relationship with Mikey... With Mike? Did, did Mike actually pull off a, a woman before he gets scooped by Ennard? If that's the case, hey, I mean, but let's be honest, giving Michael Afton a girlfriend, you making all the Mike, Michael Afton fangirls mad who want to be with him. I'm just saying. So my big bet is that this has to be Mrs. Afton. And if this is Mrs. Afton, then what happened to her? Because it's either that she's going to pass, she's going to pass or she's in a coma. And if that's the case, then what put her in a coma in the first place? Interesting, interesting. I'm, I, I gotta write this. I, I, I'm, I'm writing this all down. I'm writing this in the notebook the moment I go to the movie theaters on that day. But look at this man. He's... Mike is... Mike is wiping the floor on this man! And that's William Afton. I'll be honest... I'll be honest with this one. At first, I didn't think that this should have worked. I didn't think William Afton should have been in the first movie. Like, I know he should be. Because, like... But this is literally adapting FNAF 1. But in a way, they're kind of adapting a little bit. Because, let's be honest. FNAF 1, we only ha we had... There was no clear villain. I mean, yeah, the animatronics were. But, you know. Technically, from FNAF 2 and onward, William Afton is indeed the villain. So... I'm a little mixed that William Afton is kind of active right here. Like, he's wearing the spring suit. He's wearing the spring lock suit. He's because, he's William Afton right... Like, he's he's spring trap right now. But that should have been saved in the FNAF 3 adaptation. But you know what? It's fine, okay? Because this... This is beautiful. And yeah, I, I, I knew it. I, I said it in the first time that this was... Okay, well, technically, no. Actually, I think I feel like I'm wrong now. I, I think in the last video, I said that this was supposed to be a dream sequence, saying that this could have been a dream sequence because, you know, peop 
Because people were complaining about the red eyes, which... Are we still doing that? I feel like at this point, it's a bit redundant now. Being mad over simple red eyes. I mean, like, come on, guys. It's just red eyes. Stop hating. At least we got the movie. What, do you want them to cancel? Do you want them to delay the movie because of simple black and white eyes? Come on, guys. Don't, it don't matter. It's just a small detail. Where to? But this is what I want to talk. Corey Kenshin is in the movie. The Shogun himself. Oh my goodness. What? How? How they got Corey Kenshin in the movie and he's a taxi driver? Did, what other FNAF movie? Whatever, is it just Corey Kenshin? Were there other people in the movie? Oh. Why do I always get the weirdos? Oh. Oh, it's like that. Do I want to scream? I must. Golden Freddy is in the movie! Golden Freddy is in the movie. That has to be Golden Freddy. I refuse to believe that that was Freddy. Look, because we saw Freddy with two of his ears. So unless this is clickbait and this is just the lighting is just what's throwing us off. This is Golden Freddy. And his one of his eyes is dilated. Actually. Okay, so uh, <laughs> so maybe this. Okay, it could be Golden Freddy. But one of the spirits is there. It would have showed us two, but this one is, like, missing an eye. So unless this is, like, editing for trailer purposes, I believe this is Golden Freddy. And look at look at the sister right here. She's looking at... She's looking at this. She's looking at Golden Freddy, and, like, she's not fearful. So did... What was her name? Abby? Yeah. Did Abby befriend it? Cassidy or Golden or Evan in there? Did he, did she bonded with the spirits of Golden Freddy in there? I have to say that is a tall order, Abby. Okay, the fact that you actually befriended Cassidy, I salute you. Yeah, I, I think that's probably Golden Freddy. Either that or it's just Freddy, but whatever the case may be. Boy! I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I, I am overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with this munch of FNAF. I, I, I do indeed. FNAF is eating good. I, it's eating good, ladies and gentlemen. And next week is literally the next book, which I need to get to the books immediately. Oh, boy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video so I know you guys enjoy. Comment down below what, you're gonna, what you think about this movie. You're going to watch it on premiere? And subscribe. We're trying to download daily. <laughs> download. We're trying to upload daily. This is Juan Gamer 54 signing off.